Here at the Roman Baths, we've been working with the BBC, uh, Ardman, University of Bristol, so many different project partners on the 5G Smart Tourism project. It's been a really exciting project for us. So yeah, we're here today to test out the Roman Baths 5G application that we've made that kind of gives you a window back in time. Uh, this uses a 3D model that's been exported to 360 video. This then allows us to align that 360 video to the physical environment here at the Roman Baths and then give you this window back into how the Roman Baths would have looked at different points in time. But we think the concept of providing a, a window back in time that relies on a really high bandwidth video or you know, excellent quality animations could have applications in education and entertainment for all kinds of historical places, you know, possibly complementing BBC programmes or providing information and guidance in, in museums and other kinds of, of locations like that. We came upon the idea of looking at these three different points in time, the Celtic period when the Roman Bass Thermal Spring was first discovered, then into the Roman period when the um, Bass started to fall into disrepair and the roof collapsed, uh, and then into the Victorian period when uh, this upper terrace that we're now stood on was uh, built. So this is an Android application that uses AR Core to perform the image alignment. So this aligns the 360 video to the physical environment. And then we then go into a 360 video player which streams from a remote server at the University of Bristol the 360 video, uh, which is then displayed to the user. And then on top of this 360 video, there is some informational hotspots. We've been working in collaboration with the BBC R&D team up in Salford and the Roman Baths. So we've been able to really get to grips with history and bring it to life. Looking back through the Roman era where there was the, uh, the fall of the roof. So through the app you can actually see the roof fall down and cave down in front of you, which is really exciting when you get to see people actually react in front of you. It's lovely. Um, and through to the kind of Victorian era as well, which is uh, how it, very much how it looks today. So looking at all the kind of key characters through history and um, telling a story through the augmented reality. Um, the network comprises of a number of different elements. We've got a, a high speed link back to Bristol where we host some cloud computer and some logic there. Um, and then we've got a mixture of Wi-Fi and LTE providing the users uh, with the connectivity to the, the handsets. For BBC R&D, this has been an excellent opportunity to look at how we could use really high bandwidth future networks for delivering new kinds of experiences to people. So here we've been looking at a sort of virtual or augmented reality relying on high bitrate video. We're going to go on to look at how we could render video remotely to deliver streams to users without needing to rely on massive bandwidth, but we'd have to use really low latency, which would be another good test of the 5G network. So it's all giving us a lot of insight into what future technology might allow us to use to deliver new kinds of experiences for BBC audiences.